Inside Racing is brought to you by Dunlop. Who's going to be Dunlop MSC British Touring Car Champion 2011? Who'll win the biggest prize in British motorsport? 30 races, 36 drivers, three different championships in one series. The potential winners, among them, the two Honda men, racing drivers with potential for professional rugby. The tall, lanky guy from England, the short, smart guy from Scotland, Matt Neal and Gordon, the Flash Shedden. He'll be notching up his third win, Flash his first ever. No sign here of the eternal rivalry between England and Scotland. What's special in our team, if you liken it to rugby, is uh, we have a great combination like the British Lions. The British Lions are a combination of Scotland, England, Wales and Ireland. And we have Scotland and England, so we're halfway there with a great combination. And British Lions are one of the best teams in Europe. You know, when we're working together, we work at our, at our maximum, at our best, and you know, that's what makes us a successful team. And that's seen, above all, on the track. Here they jointly try to put up a fortress against all others, battling against this duo as Jason Plato. He's the man to beat, last year's champion, and he dishes it out, qualifying being the reason. Be careful, Jason. Be careful. Be careful. No, I don't think the tensions is because of the, the, the fighting on track. I think the tensions is because the regulations haven't been... Uh, are not right, you know, they're, they're, there's meant to be parity between the turbo car and the non-turbo car and, you know, up until this point there has not been. There's a lot of feeling where people, there's, you've got different formula, you've got uh, S2000 normally aspirated, S2000 turbo, uh, new NGTC turbo uh, and some old BTC regs, so you've got four different types of car and um, Toka to try and help some of the not so competitive turbo cars are giving them more boost, more horsepower to bring they're trying to, it's not one rule. So, and they won't tell any of the competitors in the pit lane what horsepower and everything they're giving to the other teams. I do this for a living. I'm a passionate man. I put 110% effort in, and it feels like, you know, f up until this point, we've been swimming against the tide. All I know is the Hondas have been made to run less than anybody else. That is a fact. But we don't know where everyone else is. So uh, they say we have to run less boost because we, our engine is the best. So we are 10th and 11th in the speed trap. I say, how does that work when we've got this best engine? So they're just trying to even everything out, uh, engine, car, and driver, which is taking the spectacle too far, I think. The BTCC is the BTCC. We're, we're colorful characters. We're, we're very passionate about what we do, and so sometimes that passion is displayed. Who will end up with the title? We'll know after the final race at Silverstone as well as the works teams like Chevrolet, there are also small teams. Privately sponsored ones, like Matt Jackson's Team Airwaves. We are an independent team, which means we qualify for the independent um, championship, which is open to all the independent cars up and down the pit lane. Um, at the end of the day, we've just got to win, and that's the best that we can do. The BTCC. Britain's biggest, most important and most popular race series. The fans here are allowed to get closer to their idols than anywhere else. And it's not just men here who are motorsport mad. Some come to the racetrack almost before they can walk. The crowds here, fanatical and crazy. Tom Chilton. Gordon Shedden. Simon Scotland, fantastic. Uh, oh dear, Andy Neil. I'd like Matt Jackson to win, but probably Jason Plato. Not Andy Neil. Phil, um... It's not Plato. Matt Neal. Jason Plato. Don't like Jason Plato. Don't like his attitude. Gordon Shedden, possibly. It's his teammate. I can't remember his name, sorry. Hopefully Jason Plato. Yeah, I think I'd like to see Gordon win. We'll do it again. What do you think who's going to win the championship? Matt Neal. Hopefully Matt Neal. 
In the end, the two make up on the pit lane wall. The scuffle at the start, all the same, cost them both £1,000 and a warning that they could be knocked down six places. Where else do you see such honest, hard motorsport? Inside Racing was brought to you by Dunlop.